Hi everyone, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here today because I get to waffle on about something I'm really passionate and obsessed with. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my project Buscana, which is supercharging the restaurant industry here in London using Jamstack. My name is Zahid and I'm a software engineer and the founder of Buscana. If you'd like to connect or learn more, my personal Twitter handle is on the screen. If you prefer images over text, feel free to follow along on Instagram as well. I'd love to have you all along for the journey. In a nutshell, Buscana empowers restaurants with their own website and digital menu to take online orders with 0% commission. This is important because restaurants are paying up to 42% commission per order through traditional delivery apps like Uber Eats, Deliveroo and DoorDash. By using the Jamstack, Buscana allows restaurants to integrate directly with their payment processor, cut out the middleman and therefore keep their hard-earned margin for themselves. Restaurant owners are great business people, but they're not technologists. Buscana is a fully managed white label platform that reduces the operational complexity for business owners. And since it's a Jamstack application hosted on Netlify, the costs of running and maintaining the system are massively reduced too. In the 2020 lockdown, I saw firsthand the increasing cost of customer acquisition. For those who are not familiar, the UK government lockdown restrictions meant that restaurants were forced to shut their doors for the best part of a year. Many restaurants went bust in this time. This restriction highlighted that so many restaurants had no way of communicating directly with their customers and the delivery apps that they had been servicing gave them zero visibility of their customer data. Buscana gives restaurants their own SEO optimized website and digital menu to take online orders. Since they own the system and there's no middleman, they have full ownership of their customer data. To the technologists in the, in the audience, I know this sounds really, really simple, but it really is. Even though online commerce has been around for almost 20 years, it's mind blowing just how far behind the restaurant industry is. Did you know 67% of restaurants in the UK don't have a suitable digital presence to reach their customers? That's why delivery apps had a field day when they launched. There was just so much opportunity to exploit. But this exploitation now means that the restaurant industry needs help. And Buscana is not only here to help, but to supercharge it too. Here's a screenshot from Google Search Console. This was the result of less than an hour's work using the Jamstack to add very basic SEO requirements to a restaurant's digital presence through a website built using the Jamstack. As you can see, within eight weeks, it went from completely undiscoverable to 900 clicks per day. When we put all of this together, through Buscana, a restaurant gets a branded, fully immersive landing page to showcase their store. Jamstack makes it dead easy to optimize for SEO. Loading pages is lightning fast thanks to static generation or server-side rendering. And with frameworks like Next.js, you don't lose the joyfulness of responsive experiences that the client-side frameworks offer. Restaurants also get a digital menu to take online orders. Again, a balance between pre-rendering and client rendering makes the experience snappy and pleasant for the customer. As a developer, I was able to build all of this in less than a month thanks to the productivity boost of Jamstack tools and workflows. The result is a faster, more secure, easier to scale platform for Buscana and the restaurants that I work with. And it does work. A local burger store that I'm working with has seen 107% month on month growth for their new website, which has driven over 68,000 search impressions because it's SEO optimized. The next task is to find a way to convert every single one of those searches to paying customers. And with Jamstack, it will be really easy to rapidly prototype solutions and try them until I find the magic. This is a very brief talk. So for the second half, I'd like to share some insight on the critical decisions I made whilst building Buscana. As a spoiler alert, I got a lot of things wrong, but my hope is that sharing this will help you make better decisions when you're using Jamstack to build for online commerce. I never got my head around Docker, Kubernetes and containerization. But in one way or another, my development process has always been tightly coupled with my source control in Git. This gives me the peace of mind and assurance that I can deploy any branch at any time to any server and it will always have the version of code that I expect it to. 
Netlify supports this right out of the box. And Netlify handles all the things I don't have the capacity for, including efficient builds, content delivery networks, caching, and preview deployment. Using Netlify for Buscana has made it possible for me to rapidly build and prototype my platform whilst demoing and testing features through their automatic deployments. I'm also really happy with my decision to use Next.js. It's the perfect blend of static generation, incremental static regeneration, server-side rendering, and client-side rendering. If any of these terms are unfamiliar to you, have a look at the Next.js documentation, search Google or drop me a message and I'll happily point you in the right direction. For Buscana, Next.js has been a great solution because it has made it easy for me as a one-man team to build a service for restaurants which is SEO optimized, blazingly fast, efficient to host, and doesn't compromise on the snappiness that customers expect when browsing menus and placing orders. Jamstack really empowers front-end developers as well to build great user experiences for the web. The web is a complicated space now. Developers have to consider browser support, screen sizes, accessibility, page speed, SEO, performance, security, and making the whole experience for visitors really, really slick. With the Jamstack, it's more efficient to build brilliant web experiences. Frameworks like Next.js also give you a pseudo backend through Netlify functions. That means you can, if you wanted to, handle any server-side magic all in one code base. In Buscana, I do exactly this, but I also use a headless Node.js API hosted on Heroku to do more of the complicated stuff. Like for example, hosting my Stripe webhooks to process payments. By abstracting some of the logic to a common headless API and decoupling from the front end, I also leave the door open to reusing the server-side implementation when building additional solutions like mobile apps, marketplaces, directories, and integrating with point-of-sale systems. I found in some instances that hosting a website on Netlify, which proxies an API on Heroku through serverless functions, can be a little bit slow. I'm still new to all of this, so I haven't found the exact cause yet, but for some server-side rendered pages, I noticed that the load time was up to five seconds. This is just something that you should keep in mind if you're considering a similar architecture. When I began building Buscana, I wanted every restaurant to have their own instance so they could quite literally own it. In hindsight, this might have been overkill, but the experience of building multiple websites from a single Git repo in Netlify has been really smooth. I use environment variables to configure the deployment for each restaurant, but going forward, I may consider moving towards a single multi-tenant deployment. I also do wanna consider the Netlify API and see if I can integrate that into my workflow, which might make it possible to automate creating websites, deploying updates and assigning domains, which could be quite valuable as a software as a service differentiator for me. A feature I haven't quite explored yet is incremental static regeneration. I think this will work really well for most pages on a restaurant's website, and I'd like to test its feasibility soon. For example, the home page, the about page, the contact page, the menu page, hardly ever change on a restaurant's website. If these pages were statically generated with a generous expiry date, it could be a straightforward solution to the slowness I mentioned in a previous slide. And I'd just like to mention that there have been some frustrations with Netlify too. For example, they don't support Next.js rewrites. If I wanted to offer a menu and no landing page as a package to some of my restaurants, I would like to be able to disable the home page and redirect it to the menu page using a Next.js rewrite. Frustratingly, I found that this was not possible when hosting on Netlify because they don't support Next.js rewrites. There are ways around this though, they always are, for example, you can use Netlify's own rewrite module or by redirecting the user through Next.js's server-side rendering. That's a wrap from me. I hope this brief lightning talk has demonstrated the efficiency of building for online commerce using Jamstack. Buscana is only a small project that I work on in the evenings, but by choosing Jamstack, I have the confidence that it can scale on demand. Whether you're building a single store, a SaaS, a template for your agency, or a full-fledged e-commerce marketplace, I hope my talk has given you the encouragement to at least consider Jamstack as a serious option for your development team. If you have any questions or concerns or would like to share your thoughts and experience, please do reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.